call the Monday special session of uh, November 27th to order. Please rise and stand to pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic in which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, please have the reading of the mission stage. Richmond Community Schools guide students on pathways of learning to a future of limitless possibilities. Thank you. And the mission statement. Richmond Community Schools, a collaborative community nurturing mind, body, and spirit to prepare students for lives of choice, purpose, and service. All right. Thank you both. All right. So with our action um, items, uh, first one, item 2.01, Dr. Ray. President Stoltz, trustees, just come before you this evening. Yes. Thank you. Seek of approval. Action item 2.01 the teacher master contract as presented. Madam President, I move that we approve action item 2.01 the teacher master contract as presented. Okay. I'll second. First and a second. Okay. Any questions or comments? Do we need to offer public comment? Except the opportunity for public comment on all action items. Um, I believe we're doing that at the very end. Is that not right? Well, we, I would say before we go, we, we have free yeah. channel. Okay. Free channel. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, anything else other than that? Okay. I have a comment. Yes, John. Um, I appreciate all the work for the bargaining team, the REA team, um, and I will support the contract. However, I think it's it's uh, too rich. I think we overstretched. And I want everybody to be super concerned. Um, we have a lot of expenses in the pike. And uh, well, I appreciate the effort. And I think I appreciate what this contract is doing. I'm also concerned that it will uh, stretch us in the future. So again, I'm supporting, but I just wanted to put that in the public record. I too would like to, well, I would like to express my thanks for the uh, members of the REA, mm -hmm. the members of uh, the administration and the board members who diligently uh, worked to reach this agreement. I know that there were many early afternoons and late nights that went into this and hopefully and I pray that it will go to, uh, to, uh, reach the ultimate goal that we want, and that's a total collaborative effort between all parties engaged. Anyone else? All right, opening it up to the public. Jay. <laughs> Okay, seeing none, uh, we'll go ahead and take our vote. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Vote passes seven to zero. All right, moving on to point uh, or seven or two point oh two. That's right. <laughs> President Stolz, trustees, come before you all this evening for the seek of approval of Action Item two point zero two, the resolution number two three one one fast three resolution amending teacher supplemental payments as presented. So moved. Okay, we have a first as well as a second. Are there questions or comments? So I have a question. I just a clarification, right? This is amending that first the supplemental pay, right? It's just because I know we talked about that at the last meeting. It's amending um, the sections of the original supplemental resolution and providing further um, clarification that um, the board is authorizing the continuation of the $525 stipend identified as point number one in the original um, to be paid in full as previously planned. Um, and then further clarifying that the supplemental payment stipends with varying amounts identified in point number two of the original is hereby rescinded. And then further, that the board is recognizing and authorizing uh, the total per teacher stipends of between $49 and $750 
and the amount necessary for each and every teacher employed during the 23-24 contract year with an effective or highly effective evaluation rating um, to receive at least the total compensation for 23-24 as was contemplated for the teacher under the May 15th supplemental resolution. So there was a very small amount that um, we did not want to rescind or to go under that original amount that was offered by that first resolution. So this is providing that <laughs> one time uh, supplemental payment for the 2324 contractor. All right, additional questions or comments? <clears throat> okay. All those in favor say aye. Okay. Public comment. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Public commentary. None? Okay. Seeing none, all those in uh, favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Vote passes 7 to 0. All right. So 2.03. Dr. A. President Stolz, trustees, come before you yet again this evening to seek approval for action item 2.03, the 2024 125 school calendar amendment as presented. <clears throat> Madam President, I move that we approve. Action item 2.03, the amended 2024-2025 school calendar as presented. Mm -hmm. A motion? Second. And a second. Okay. Are there any questions or comments by the board prior to opening it up for public commentary? And just to clarify, uh, that brings our total contractual days to 185 this year. And then it'll be 184 for next year. Is that no 185 again? Okay. So this is an amendment for just the 24 25 school calendar. The 23 24 remains the same. Okay. Um, this would amend the 24 25, not impacting student days. Only um, the only amendment from the original um, version is. It is reducing one teacher contractual day, moving from 186 to 185 by eliminating the professional development day on Friday, February 14th of 2025. I got my years mixed up. Yeah. And th therefore, all teachers, even that second year, would see a daily rate increase by doing so. And thank you for clarifying that. That's something that public yeah. wants to know. Students are not impacted. This isn't this year. This is next year only. Um, one day off well, next year. Other questions and comments? Okay, uh, public commentary. Man, a few words. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing none, we have a motion and a second on the table. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Vote passes seven to zero. All right. Do we have anything else to discuss uh, during our special meeting? If not, I will adjourn. Thank you.